We have another really cool experiment today. I am going to share a video and just narrate the experiment. Uh, and then we'll see who will take a chance at this experiment. So it's a two-parter. Uh, I did it in my kitchen because if I did it in my office and I made a mess, it would not have been great. So you need a couple mason jars. In the first mason jar, I put some water in and then I filled it with some ice. I wanted to really cool down that water. So in my first mason jar, I put some ice in to really cool down the water. In my second mason jar, I boiled a little bit of water in a kettle and I pour that nice hot, hot water uh, into the mason jar. Got it. Both of them, I wanted them filled really close to the top. It doesn't matter if you're just doing the first version of the experiment, but for the second version, you want them pretty much right to the brim, right up at the top. Then I added some blue to the cold, some blue food coloring, and watch how it moves through the water. It's definitely not in a hurry, is it? It's moving very slowly. Now, some of you might think, oh, that's because the ice is in the way, but that's not actually true. Uh, the ice isn't really keeping it from spreading through the water. Uh, it's not blocking it. And so you're watching the food die. It kind of spills to the bottom and it's very slowly spreading out. There's nothing very quick happening here. In a second, we're going to take a look at the warm water. Uh, and I'm going to use some red for that just to donate that or to, to mark that it's hot, that it's warm. And watch the difference here between the warm and the cold. No time being wasted. That dye is being quickly spread uh, throughout that jar. And within a matter of seconds, it is pretty much mixed uh, and spread through the entire column of that warm water. It did not tang long at all. If we look back at our cold water, I gave the ice a little jostle there. It is still spreading very, very, very slowly. So this is version one of your experiment uh, to do in the classroom or at home. What's going on here? Why in the warm water did the food coloring spread so quickly compared to the colder water? So we'd love to see some pictures of that. Now there's an option to extend the experiment and this is where it can get messy. It gets a little bit tricky. So I took a piece of laminated paper and I put it on top of the hot water and then held the top. I'm using an of glove because it was boiling water, so the jar was hot. Now I very carefully put it on top, but before I messed around a little, this could be another experiment, properties of water. How come that didn't fall off? Why is it uh, not falling off from the bottom? So water has amazing properties, but we're not, wor we're not worried about this one today in particular. I put it on top and line it up very, very, very carefully. So the cold on the bottom, the hot on top, and I'm going to gently remove uh, our laminated piece of paper here and see what happens. You have to be very careful to make sure the two uh, water jars stay lined up on top of each other because it'll be a big mess if it doesn't. I will spoil it and say that I was successful. I did not make a big mess in this experiment, so that's a good thing. So gently removing the different or the, the laminated paper, separating the two layers. All right, there we go. Now watch what happens here. So the ice floated to the top. That's not surprising. The ice is less dense than water, but there's not a whole lot of mixing here going on. So the, the cold water is kind of staying where it, originated at the bottom. The warm is kind of staying at the top. The ice is pretty much gone now that it went into that really, really warm water, but we're not getting a whole lot of mixing here of the water. Now comes the really tricky move, and that is to turn these containers over. So the cold water is on top and the hot water is on the bottom and see if we get uh, a different result. So we're not seeing a lot of mixing with the warm water on top uh, and that cold water on the bottom. So very, very carefully, we are going to do a flip here and it is pretty much instant. The two waters mix, they turn purple. So when the cold water is put on top, the warm water 
uh, on the bottom, we get that immediate mixing. So that is part two of the experiment. If any classrooms or parents want to try this at home uh, with their students, with their kids, uh, you can try part two as well. So there we go. That is our experiment of the week. You have two weeks to submit some photos. And then if you're doing the first one, we'd love to know why the uh, warm water spread the dye so much quicker than the cold water. If you try this part, we would love to know why when the warm water is at the bottom, or sorry, on top, there was no mixing. When we put the cold water on top, we had that immediate mix uh, of the different layers, the different water temperatures. So there we go, classroomatdarwin200.com. Let's see who tries version one and if any groups try version two as well. Send in some photos and what you think happened to classroom at darwin200.com.